This video is going to demonstrate a nice soft tissue release using a soft firmer ball to the muscles of the perineum. I have my pelvic model here and I have actually removed that perineal muscle layer because I want to just show the arch of the bone. We're going to take the ball and we're going to position the ball on the inside just to the edge of that right sits bone or the ischial tuberosity. So we're going to sit there and we're going to do a few movements. We're going to breathe, we're going to rotate the trunk, and we're going to forward bend and back the trunk. So we're going to give these little small micro movements to just work the tissue. So this is really a simple move and if if it, I'm going to come down here, if it's uncomfortable, a couple things that you may want to do is get something a little cushion on a harder surface so it's a little more compliant, or have the cushion be on top that's going to disperse the load. So I think a cushion would be a little too much on top, but you can use a, um, a hand towel folded into halves or third. That's going to disperse the pressure. The other thing that you can do is just get a smaller ball or start with a smaller ball. So we're going to start on that inside. We'll do those three different moves. Move the ball toward the front so it's going to be more at the mid part of the arch. And then come to the top part of the arch. I'm only going to do one side, uh, but you'll want to move on to the other side and then you can move right into the center. So I'm going to put the pelvis down and I'm going to sit on this right to that inside part of my right ischial tuberosity. First part is breathe. We're just going to do three. So you're going to breathe three times and you're breathing down to meet that ball on that inhale. On the exhale, you might feel your pelvic floor that perineal area come up. Now we're going to rotate. So I'm going to rotate. So you can see that I'm kind of shimmying over the ball and as I rotate, my pelvis rotates. So you're going to see the leg shorten and lengthen. The other move is simply just to lean forward and back. Now you can also, if you wanted to tilt the pelvis with this into a forward tilt and a backward tilt, you can do that. But a lot of times people have a hard time finding that. So just the leaning forward and the back works fine. I'm going to move the ball to the front a little bit. So I am now a little bit kind of midpoint. We're going to do the same thing. I'm going to skip the breathing, but we're going to go right to the rotation. And then the forward and the back. New spot. So as it kind of gets to this upper part of the arch, there's not a lot of room. So you might find that you can't really get to the top, but make sure it stays comfortable, that you're not needing to kind of cringe and hold because it's more sensitive. So adjust the ball as you need to, to get into a zone that's comfortable, where you can breathe, where you can rotate, where you can move. Try that on the other side and then to the center. And then just kind of notice, it's always nice, I forgot to mention in the beginning, just kind of notice how your pelvis sits on the chair. Notice how the, that perineal area feels. And when you're done, you might just feel a little more grounded into your ischial tuberosities or those sits bones. You might even just feel more ease along your whole spine and even into your neck and shoulders. So kind of check into that before and after, which I didn't do in the beginning, 
but try that out and have fun.